When we talk about transit proposals in New York, we rarely see proposals to expand the L to R. Well, we do have Grand Central Madison and Third Track on the main line, but we don't often see any proposals or expansions in Nassau or Suffolk counties. That was what I thought until I came across a report published by the Nassau County Planning Commission in 1963 called Better Rail Service for Nassau County. The report came up with some interesting proposals on expanding the LWR. Some were already built with some modifications, others were forgotten and was never built. These proposals interested me not only because of the plans that was proposed in it, but also because it was proposed in an era where highways were massively built across the US and automobiles became the main way of getting around. In today's video, I will be breaking down the proposals in this 1963 report. The first two projects the report mentioned was electrification and grade separation between Maniola and Bethpage. The proposals brought up here started to take into play starting in 1964 when grade crossings were eliminated at Hicksville and the station was moved onto an elevated structure. The electrification was complete between Maniola and Huntington in 1970 and between Hicksville and Ronkonkoma in 1987. Both passed the point that was proposed in the 1963 report. By the completion of the third track of the main line in 2023, the main line west of Hicksville has been grade separated, but grade crossings still exist east of Hicksville. Another proposal that was brought up in this 1963 report was to bring the LWR into Grand Central, but the plan proposed then had a significant difference from what we see today. At that time, there were two alternate plans. Plan A would come off the existing main line near Hunters Point Avenue, running northwest across the East River to 52nd Street, before turning south and entering the westernmost tracks of the lower level at Grand Central Terminal. A station will be located on 52nd Street between Lexington Avenue and 3rd Avenue. A new platform will be built for the LWR at Grand Central Terminals, track 136 and 127. It will use the existing Grand Central Loop to turn around towards Long Island. Plan B will cross the East River like Plan A, but it will be a single reversible track tunnel instead of turning back around using the Grand Central Loop. It will continue south along Madison Avenue and turning east at 35th Street to join the existing LWR line towards Long Island. The extra station will be located on Madison Avenue between 35th and 37th Streets. Since the tracks are reversible, trains could travel the opposite direction, going northbound to Grand Central. This plan was said to be the most economical option. However, we all know that we did not go for any of these two plans. Instead, the Elder Bar crossed the river via the 63rd Street Tunnel under the F train. Tracks and platforms were separate at Grand Central, and we did not have a station on 52nd Street. Looking at these old plans, I actually think that they are not a bad idea. If the Elder Bar and Metro North shared platforms at Grand Central, it would probably allow some interesting joint operation. By the way, the estimated cost for these two plans at, at the time was way lower than what was cost on the East Side Access project. Another key project proposed in the report was to build a new terminal at Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn with the Atlantic branch service provided by the subway instead of the LWR. This would have provided Jamaica with subway service that I did not have at the time reduce fare costs for passengers, and eliminate the transfer in Brooklyn for those that do. The two proposals that was most interesting to me was a new branch to Roosevelt Field and reactivating a section of the Elderbar owned right away that runs through East Meadow and Levittown to Bethpage. These two projects will form a loop around Nassau County. Under the proposal, Roosevelt Field will have 8 trains per hour during the peak and 4 trains per hour during off-peak. Express service from Roosevelt Field to Midtown Manhattan will be 28 minutes. With this added branch, two extra tracks between Floral Park and Maniola was proposed. Instead, we went with adding one track but extending the triple track section to Hicksville. 
The East Meadow and Levittown service would use the right of way between the Meadow Brook Parkway and Bethpage, formerly part of the Central Railroad of Long Island. The report proposed stations at East Meadow and Levittown, respectively, and said that the travel time from Levittown to Manhattan would be decreased to 35 minutes. There are a few alternates shown in the report. One would be to connect with a branch to Roosevelt Field that was proposed previously. The other would be to connect with a line to Garden City that was still in use at the time. The biggest opposition that stopped this project from happening was the residents that lived next to the right of way. I actually see these two proposals as great ideas. I would support a branch line to Roosevelt Field and extend it further to connect with the reactivated right away to Beth Page. Although it would be nice to have, adding another track after just finishing the third track project is not really possible. Instead, I will propose reactivating the line to Garden City with a station at Clinton Road and a connection to the junction where the main line merges with the central branch. This would add another two tracks that run parallel to the main line, and some of the trains from the main line east of Bethpage could be sent to run on this reactivated line, and join the main line at Floral Park instead. And these are all the elder bar proposals I found worth mentioning in the Better Rail Service for Nassau County report. There are other proposals mentioned in the report, which I won't have time to mention in this video. If you want to see the full report, a link could be found in the description. If you want to see more transit proposals, you could check out this playlist, which I continue to propose transit projects that I believe the region needs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.